Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azine Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Now, as you know, with every Big Brother Niger season, whenever they start, I try to do some digging about your new housemates. And I come here to tell you guys what I found out about your new big brother niger housemates so in this video we are going to be talking about some of your favorite housemates that have just entered into the house let's start with daniel now it's no longer news that daniel we all know daniel is a twin she's from taraba state but what some of you do not know is that daniel and the ex big brother niger housemate sasuke are friends yes now there's been pictures of her and her twin brother and Sasuke and this had made a lot of people start thinking hmm is this part of like some kind of connection that got her into the house me I do not know all I'm here to do is to give you guys gist now the number two person who you guys should actually watch out for is none other than Bella Okabwe. Now, immediately I heard the surname Okabwe. It's kind of like rang a bell in my head. And I quickly started doing my researches. And boy, oh boy, was I right. Now, Bella, as she introduced herself, you know, to the housemate, she is the last born of the house. Now, Bella was born into the Okabwe family, which is a royal family in Onisha, Anambra State. Their late father that is an OB or the OB of Onisha. Yes, guys. Now, you guys probably will be familiar with her elder brother, which is the very own, our very own darling, Chris Okabwe, who is a Nollywood sweetheart. I think right now he's in the UK. Yes, guys. I mean, he graced our screens. He's been in different movies. He is fine. But boy, he's fine. Gone. <laughs> like, yes. And that's not all. Her elder sister, Sandra Okabwe, is Flavor's first um, baby mama. In fact, um, some people are alleging that um, Flavor actually paid her bride price and that she is Flavor's secret wife. Yes, guys. So, um, hmm, that means that Flavor is actually... Um, the secret in-law of Bella Okabwe. Now you guys will understand why the girl is giving us boss lady vibes, why she's saying that she's a princess and should be treated as such. Yeah. Now, once again, a lot of people are asking, is this part of the whole connection issues? Me, I do not know. All I am here to do once again is to give you guys gist. Now, from here, we talk about our very own Hermes. Yes, guys. Now, hmm. Hemis told us that he has two girlfriends who um knows that he is in a relationship with the both of them. And looking at this, I don't think these two ladies are Nigerians because imagine if it was Nigerian women, wahala for them start. Anyways, um, this is Hemis with his girlfriend Kelly, the dark beauty, and of course with his girlfriend Margarita. Yes, guys, those are the names of his girlfriends, and that's not all. Now, before Big Brother, I didn't know I've actually seen Hemis two different or on two different occasions. The first one is in this Davido's, you know, music video with Folastic, and you guys know the song. It goes down with my jeans connect. Yes, that is actually Hemis in that video. He danced in that video or he was part of the choreography of that video and um sometime i think early this year or late last year there was this news on insta blog that this guy you know took his mom to the psychiatric hospital and you know um the hospital let her leave and she was missing and he was really really um going berserk about it yes guys that was him he was the guy on insta blog so now you know um, probably some of you probably would have known about him even before now. Now, I bet a lot of you will run, you know, to go see that Davido's video once again. I mean, the guy is a great guy and listening to him, he speaks very, very well. Now, away from that, let's talk a bit about our exotic dancer, Chi Chi. Hmm. Chi Chi's own is a very, um, it's kind of like controversial. I mean, if you are on Telegram, is the video and the picture has been circulating and all that, but I will not post it here well chichi i mean 
she said it with her full chest that she strips. So I don't know why the whole buzz about it is, I don't know why people are like acting as if, oh, she did not say that. But the one that is getting my attention is somebody coming out to accuse her that, you know, while they were in Cyprus, she actually tried to poison her. Well, um, hmm. Me, I don't know what to say about this. I'm not going to be taking anybody's side because I remember, you know, even when, you know, the lockdown season started, when Shanya I season started, there were accusations and counter accusations against the current housemates. So, yeah, I'm just going to say, you know, what I saw and I'm not going to be taking anybody's side on that. Now, away from that, let's also go to our very handsome housemate, Shex, Shegun. Now, we all know that Shex is single. Now, Shex also mentioned in his introduction when he was talking to the housemates about himself, he actually said, you know, that, I mean, he was in a relationship for three good years and he's been single for nine months. I mean, that this person he was in a relationship with was his um, bestie, was the woman he almost got married to and all that. Um, But along the line, something happened. Now, that's not the gist. The gist here is that this so-called ex-girlfriend came out and was ranting on social media listen to her i didn't give a shit picked my laptop chucked it across the room flinged it across the room i had makeup set up on my table eyeshadow literally swung everything on the floor my eyeshadow broke on the floor everything stained the carpet he didn't care and you know he had been quite aggressive by grabbing me chucking me on the bed i had a scratch on my hand somewhere he grabs my head hits my head on the wall i go on the stairs now and i'm trying to run down the stairs as quick as i can guys so in essence she was actually saying that Shex was um a violent person that probably he was violent towards her and hmm once again, I'm not going to be taking anybody's side on this because this is not the first time I'm hearing something like this whenever a new season of Big Brother Niger starts. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Now, away from that, a lot of things are actually happening in the house. There was, you know, this almost mass boss that happened between Danielle and Beauty. Um, The way I'm looking at it... I don't know. Beauty should just watch it whenever she drinks because some I feel like she's kind of like hi. And I feel like in future there might be, you know, a big altercation between Beauty and Danielle. I'm going to be keeping my eyes on those two. And away from that, have you guys seen the whole, you know, closeness between Beauty and Groovy? Uh, is it groovy or groove? Yes, guys. I mean, I saw it yesterday, you know, when they were all touchy-touchy, you know. And today, again, the way her voice just went down, you know, her all loud voice was no longer that loud anymore. Hmm. Even Ebuka saw it and said the name of the ship should be Grooty. I'm like, what kind of ship name is this one at Beck? Anyways, guys, what do you guys think about this ship? Do you think it's about to sail or not? Let me know in the comment section. Now, I received a lot of complaints from you guys that GoTV is just showing you house, um, I think house one and not house two or house two or not house one. Um, we are all complaining about that. I'm sure they will rectify that. Yes, guys. So go TV subscribers, I am sorry. Emma Binuno Vest. Anyways, guys, on that note, I say thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, ah, Yami Sino, kindly click on the subscription button, click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZ Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.